when we got there, I sat down with, with Mate um, soon after July 1st and to, to talk about, you know, what I might be able to do there at the Institute and so forth. And parenthetically, when I got there, well, first of all, he told me not to come until September because he told me, you know, he said in August, nobody comes, nobody, the whole Institute clears out. Everybody goes on vacances for the whole month of October or August. And I, I had never heard of that and thought that was a little bit strange, but my, my, um, my job at, at, at Dartmouth was going to be ending the end of June. So I didn't listen to him and I came right at the end of June and, and reported for duty the first part of July. We sat down and had a long talk about what I might be able to do. And I, I told him, I said, you know, I, what I'd really like to work on is, is the mechanism of action of, of BCG and poly IC and poly AU to find out because I'd had this experience with, with the macrophages and so forth in, uh, in Baltimore. I had learned more about poly IC and poly AU at, at Dartmouth because that was part of my clinical project there. And I, th I thought, I thought that was, that was seemed to me where the questions were. I mean, if this stuff really works, how, how does it do that? That was seemed like a logical project to do. And as soon as I asked him, he, he, he just, he, he just goofed he, he, he got to be, <laughs> that was hilarious to him that I would even think about trying to figure out how these adjuvants worked. And, and so then he explained to me, after he stopped laughing at me, he, explained, he said, you know, that's just, that's just too, too complicated, especially for a young uh, researcher like you. I, it made me sort of very thoughtful at that stage. I, I, I went home that night, talk, told my wife about this <laughs> discussion that we had. Uh, I, I, didn't, I, I was just sort of perplexed as to about exactly what I was gonna do at that time and that's a whole different um aspect of things that i don't want to go into today and but that i'm that i'm writing about in my new book and actually i just finished the uh, that whole ex experience in in paris uh in my my new book and that happens to be chapter eight um and when we get to that we can make we'll make videos about that too um as time went on and, and, and so we took we took july and august and 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 sort of got our you know had to set up a whole new apartment and get used to what was going on in paris and so forth and so on as as the fall then progressed it was it was fun at the institute the institute was big i mean there were there must have been at least a hundred people working there were half a dozen different buildings that um that most almost all of them were uh, focused on a different aspect of basic science and i made the rounds and found try to find out what each of the, each of the investigators we're, we're doing and the the thing that it was really fun and different from anything i'd experienced in the states was that Mate would have these dejeuner meaning a great big luncheon in the cafeteria or the, the, the luncheon place they would set the tables up in a big square and and Mate would sit um it went on one of the sides and i would make i made bloody well sure that, that i sat right next to him uh, because i wanted i wanted to find out i wanted to be sure i understood what he was saying when he was particularly when he was speaking french to all these people uh, that works sometimes and sometimes not but anyway he would he would hold forth at these at these um luncheons and he would entertain everybody and so it was sort of like you know the late night talk show i mean he would he would have a running commentary about all the things that he was into uh he was traveling a lot at the time and so it had to do with you know he would describe when he visited different institutions and so forth and what the people were doing and what they said and what the, what it was like and and then at, at the end of each luncheon then one of the investigators would stand up and and give a, a presentation without slides but he would talk about what he's doing what they were doing and and it was interesting to me, and I've never understood exactly why they, they, these talks were the way they were. But now, I'm, as I've become more mature and I'm learning more and more about France, there, there was this whole, there's this whole thing in the, in the French language where the, there is a lot of admiration for the, the rhetoric and how you, how you structure your presentation and your word choices and all this stuff that really, hadn't come through to me when in the states i mean they, they were 
in the States, all the talks were, were short and they were in the, at these meetings and, and they were with slides. But in, in France, these guys would stand up and they would say premier mont and then they would go on and on about this and then deuxième mont and they would go on and on and on. And on. I was very impressed actually. At one stage, one of the one of the episodes, one of the déjeuners, Maté um, had had um, a, an investigator who was the head of the immunology unit at the National Cancer Institute in Bethesda. His name was Bill Terry, and uh, he had come through. And um, Maté went to pick him up at the airport, which was which is north of of uh, Paris and then he drove his car down through right down through the middle of Paris because the institute was south of it on the outskirts and south of Paris on a bluff um, on a sort of a big hill essentially and uh, and so they drove down right right through Paris Maté when he got into the middle Maté asked him if he wanted to see the note for Don so Bill Thierry said sure so he drove up in front of the Notre Dame and Terry got out and went inside and almost immediately he was back out again and got in the car and, and um, Maté asked him, he said, so what did you think? And he said, ah, oh, you've seen one church, you've seen them all. And, <laughs> so, and that just cracked up the room of all these French people. And that's basically what they thought about most Americans was that they were just, didn't have a clue about, you know, culture and, and stuff. They were, <laughs> they were a different breed from the French, which was absolutely true.